So, step here, and as you can see, um, I did some work to this scooter, uh, so here's an update about how many months later, uh, here it is in its final form pretty much, uh, so let me walk you guys around this thing, so, starting from the front, uh, as you can see, I did a bunch of lighting, uh, fog lights everywhere, I upgraded uh, to the headlight with LEDs, a bunch more LEDs, and I actually put an LED ring in there, just for extra light, um, yeah, night light, fog light, I'm not sponsored by them, but yeah, I just happen to have a night light head, uh, fog lamp on here, um, and then some motorcycle, uh, fog lights down low on the forks with yellow film on them, um, all the lights are LED, um, and then going over here, as you can see here, um, yeah, this is the dashboard, uh, so, if I turn this on, I have RPM gauge, a bicycle, bicycle computer, a speedometer, whatever you want to call it, because this gauge is not accurate at all, about, it's about 5 mile an hour off, but it reads kilometers an hour, uh, and as you can see, so far I've put 576 kilometers on it, uh, so it's holding up so far. This is more or less a toy, so it doesn't rack as much miles as my car does. And then I have a cylinder temperature, well, it's more of a block temperature gauge, because uh, I put it on the, um, there's a hole on the block, so I just threaded it for 6 by one thread for the uh, temp sensor to go in there and uh, that's what's reading right here so 115 degrees celsius it has a sound system on it uh so yeah it's a four inch speaker to a little bitty amp over there as you can see this is the power switch that turns it on and it's bluetooth so you can connect any device that has bluetooth to it um i have a 12 volt aux auxiliary port that runs off the battery um, everything's intertwined there with the relay. And that's a uh, creature comfort up there. Uh, so next thing, let's move to the back. Uh, and as you can see, I do have the sticker gun. Like warning, slow moving vehicle because it's a moped. Too slow to cover up the uh, painted on logos of the company of the book the scooter it came from. It was ZX Pro on it and I covered up with this too slow sticker which is fitting. Um, so let's get on to the engine mods that I did to this. I'm not going to show any videos of me modding the engine because there's so many 139 QMB videos that show them modding this engine. Like, I pretty much did all those mods. Like, it has a blue CDI in it. I don't have the orange um, ignition coil because I had issues with it from the start, but I put in the new carburetor. It does have a 20 millimeter carburetor from Amazon. It's not a true 20 millimeter carb, it's still an 18 millimeter butterfly, which kind of sucks, but whatever. It's a tunable carburetor, so I can tune. It, is, it has 87 jet in it at the moment because uh, this does have the big bore kit in it. It's this, what's it, 47 millimeter big bore kit. So it has an 89 cam also, and it has this um, upgraded exhaust, which is pretty much a straight pipe into this uh, pipe back here. Um, didn't do much, well, yeah, I did some stuff to transmission, it does have the racing, um, variator in it, and I forget what weights I have in here, it's, uh, oh yeah, uh, I got a new back tire, uh, it's a pit bike, dirt bike tire, it is a 10 inch tire, it fits perfectly on the 10 inch rim, as you can see. It's working, it's cold there. I rode it here. Um, oh yeah, and then I do have a frame extension, as you see here. Uh, that's about a four inch, four and a half inch stretch just about that I did. Uh, so you can definitely tell this thing is lower and longer, um, if you didn't catch that by now. Uh, but yeah, this thing is super low. I can't get a fist under here. And, uh, yeah, I bottomed this thing out a few times, and uh, I do actually have to modify that kickstand to be a little bit shorter, so the scooter will actually lean over 
and actually, you know, stand correctly, because you can see right now, the way it sits, it just sits flat. It should be a little bit more tilted. Oh yeah, the fake Koto uh, rear view mirrors. Um, but yeah, let me fire this thing up for you guys. Let's uh, hear how it sounds. Um, oh. So, LED, um, I did LED uh, bulbs, and you see the RPM gauge works. Uh, so, so, let me turn on all the lighting. So, this is those yellow LEDs. There is that front bulb lamp, and also I have street glow on this thing. So, let me turn that on and show you guys. So, you can see, it's got some lighting on this thing, which... Yeah, I'd rather be seen on this thing with all this lighting on my scooter than not have it and worry about, you know, people not seeing me. Especially if, if I go right at night. And then, you can see down here, I have light street glows. They're just 12 volt LEDs in a vinyl tube, which, it works. It, it turns on and stuff, so I can't complain about that. But, yeah. That is a walkthrough of this scooter. So, I got all these mods done, and it's only right if I come back to the same place I did where I did this top speed run. So, let's uh, go and do that. Okay, it's like before, uh, I must have to still have to keep up with traffic, because uh, this thing's slow, and you notice it much louder, which is a good thing, bad thing, I don't know. Ah, I got a biker wave, that's awesome. So, 38 miles an hour, 40. Why are people stopping? 39, 40, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 44, 45. Okay, this thing is kind of dicey up at that speed. Uh, I backed off at 45. This thing is uh, kind of scary. Okay, let's keep going. I'm uh, wide open right now. 41. 42. 42. What are you doing? sure if I actually pan down enough for you guys to see the speed but 45 miles an hour and I kind of backed off because this thing is dicey at that speed like I really I feel unsafe going faster than that speed or over 40 miles an hour at least call me a bitch if you want but yeah, that's just the way I feel on this thing. This thing is just a moped, and I don't think it was really designed to go faster than like 35, 40. Um, plus the fact that it was made in China, and it's made out of Chinesium steel. I just don't feel safe going faster than that. So 45 miles an hour, it's, it's not bad for what it is. Uh, I can live with that. So yeah.